Today we're going to talk about something different. We're going to talk about the importance of quality shocks and shock adjustments. Just kidding. Just kidding. These don't adjust anymore. I tried to turn the knob one time and I think that I think it just broke inside internally. I don't I don't know that they do anything really. But uh... All those videos I lied to you about first startups, how it was gonna run that week, the week after, and it never did. It finally happened. It ran. It didn't just run, it moved in gear under its own power. For the first time, well, according to the tech sticker on the car since August 21st of 2018. Almost forgot how to put it in first. to notice in the video. One, the windshield is covered in ethanol. Two, the wide band is reading 35.6. So I thought I had closed loop turned off. I didn't. So the whole time I was around the car, it was just tossing all the fuel at it, trying to make the world right again. So I got a new O2 sensor on the way. Hopefully that'll fix that. And I can dial in the tune a little bit and try to get some boost out of it. I don't know if you guys have seen all the rage in the in the coupler game lately. Let me show you. Kind of a kind of a new player in the game. Pipe conks. Connects, conks, 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 pipe conks. You know, find them at uh, Ace Hardware. So that's about it. It's not a long video, but it's a sweet success video. Um, this is something I've been working on for a long time. It's something I always wanted the car to be on a small tire turbo. It wasn't supposed to be an LS, um, but let's be real. I mean, if it's easily the cheapest way to make power. And I kind of got sick of throwing money at the big block all the time. And, you know, the S10 was nitrous, and that wasn't cheap either. You know, eight bucks a pound. Go through a few pounds of that every weekend, start that up. So, gave in, finally settled up with the rest of the world. Here we are. So there's just a couple things left. O2 sensor, some little button-up odds and ends here before I can go to the track. I do have this Friday off at work, and I think Brainerd's running. Should be first day qualifying for streetcar shootout. So I might, fingers crossed, if everything goes really well this week, and I'm pretty confident in it, might make the trip up there Friday and finally provide a video of this thing going down a racetrack.